Hey everyone, what's up? It's the Emperor Pro here, and uh, in this video I'm going to be explaining how variables work. Alrighty then, so let's dive on in. Let's go to control variables, and I'll be explaining everything here. Basically, you see we have single and range. This, um, the single part, you can choose a single variable to uh, modify, and the, the range allows you to choose between, uh, let's say between 5 and 6. That, just, that, that allows us to modify 5 and 6 uh, at the same time which are these two here. Um, you can do 5 and 10, it will uh, go all the way from 5 to 10. It will modify all those at the same time. Basically a variable is sort of like this thing uh, that stores information, it stores a number. Um, for example, let's, let's make this variable pi. Uh, let's set pi equal to 8. Now let's, let's go again, let's do control variables again. And now let's set cake equal to 12 and uh, to display a variable make sure you uh, notice the ID here where it says 1 and 2 to display a variable you can simply do this right here you can do slash or backslash V in the ID of the variable in between brackets let's try this for example uh, and if you press F2 you can preview it it says 0 and 0 Let's go ahead and play test the game, however. Make sure we set this in auto run first. Okay, so we got 8 and 12. Pi is 8, and cake is 12. Now, let's get a little bit more into this. After the text, let's go to control variables, and let's add pi by 1. Now let's do the same thing here with cake. Let's add cake by 1. Make sure to delete these first. Otherwise, it's going to constantly, it's just going to uh, keep resetting it. So your event should look like this now. Both sides should now increase by one every time. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. Now you can also increase by a random. So you can say between zero and five. Let's do between one and five. Pi will now. Um, add by anywhere between 1 and 5. All right, so these we have 11 and 4, 13, 17, 22, 24, 29, 20, 32, 35, 36, 37, 41. You can see it's uh, it's adding by the random of whatever we set. You, uh, this is subtract, this is multiply, and this is divide. Mod is sort of a remainder thing. Like, um, for example, we can set cake um, equal to the remainder of pi? How would this look? For example, if we set um, cake the remainder of pi, it's not going to do anything because the remainder is going to be zero. There is no remainder. That's for like advanced uh, math and whatnot. Not exactly advanced math, just you know, for other things that you're probably not going to use too much. But this will get the remainder. Now we, um, we can also set pi equal um, to cake if we wanted to. As you can see here, we can, um, we can set variables equal to each other. Game data will actually set uh, all kinds of information here. Uh, if you select item, then the variable will then equal uh, however many items that you have in your inventory of the selected item. Uh, the weapon, the same thing. Possession, kind of like uh, how, how many weapons of the same type you have. Armors. Here you can store information such as a character's level, for example, Harold's level, experience, HP, MP, max HP, max MP, attack, defense, magic attack, magic defense, agility, and luck. Here you can store some enemies' information if you're doing a battle event, HP and whatnot, all the same things. Here you can store information like uh, an event's information such as the map X, the direction they're facing, uh, screen X, and whatnot. All right, and here. You can select um, party member's ID, so you can find uh, the actor ID of whoever's in this position on your party, if you wanted to. And other, you can set to stuff like map ID, party members, uh, gold, how many steps you've taken, your play time, timer, save count, battle count, win count, and escape count. And if you're really advanced, which you probably already know about variables if you are, then you can use scripting as well. You can uh, set a variable equal to a command, whatever, um, what, whatever you want to do with that. Like for example, um, if you wanted to write out some sort of advanced um, math thing, then you can do that here. 
or you can set it equal to other information that's not available in game data, such as your own custom script if you wanted to do, uh, to do so. That about covers it. That's pretty much how variables work. So I'll see you guys later. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope this helps. Peace out.